9.4, number 39, find the interval of convergence, find the sum of the series as a function of x. Interval of convergence occurs wherever your r, or whatever you're multiplying or taking to the nth power, which is everything in parentheses. Parentheses here has to be between negative 1 and 1, so if we do absolute value of it, it's got to be less than 1. So multiply by 3. Um, so we have x squared minus 1 can be less than 3, and the opposite of x squared minus 1 less than 3. All right, so I get x squared less than 4. So where is x squared less than 4? So if we're solving a quadratic inequality, you can think of it as just as equal, equal to 4, and we get x equals plus or minus 2. And then on a number line, uh, negative 2 and 2, what makes it positive, or um, true and false. So 0, if I pick a number in the middle here, does that make this inequality true? Yes, it does. What about 3? No, 9 is less, not less than 3. And negative 3 doesn't work either. So it's between negative 2 and 2. Uh, another way you could think of it is when is x squared less than 4? So parabola y equals x squared. Here's y equals 4. So when is it less than? When is x squared less than 4? It's from here to here, which is negative 2 to 2. Okay, so this inequality produces an interval um, from negative 2 to 2. This other inequality, the opposite of x squared plus 1, opposite of x squared less than 2, x squared greater than negative 2. Where is x squared greater than negative 2, well any number will produce a number greater than negative 2. So this inequality is all real numbers. Anything you put in um, is going to make this one true. Mm, yeah. So we have to find the intersection of these two. So yeah, 5 might work here. If I plug it in, 25 minus 1 is 24, negative 24 is less than 3. So anything will work over here, but that's not going to work in this inequality. And 5 won't work in this inequality, the original inequality. Uh, 25 minus 1 is 24, or 3 is 8. 8 is not less than 1. So it's the intersection um, of negative 2 to 2 and all real numbers, which means it's just negative 2 to 2 has to make both of them true. Um, just to elaborate a little more on that, if I have x minus 1 less than 2, um, if I solve that one, I'd have x minus 1 less than 2, and the opposite of x minus 1 is less than 2. So x less than 3. And x greater than negative 1. Okay, so... 5 works for this one. 5 does not work for this one. So we have to find the intersection of all numbers that are less than 3 and greater than negative 1. So it's just from negative 1 to 3. We'll make both of those inequalities true. So you have to make both of them true. All right. Uh, we also have to figure out uh, how to write the sum of the series as a function of x. So our initial is 1 over 1 minus r, which is x squared minus 1 over 3. Uh, multiply the top and bottom by 3, so 3 over 3 minus x squared minus 1. So 3 over 4 minus x squared 